Hello, welcome back. I don't know why you're here, and I don't know why I'm here beyond the fact that a long time ago two people had a very irresponsible night, and I'm paying for it for the rest of my life. As we all are. Now, I got a little something special today. It's another purely SR team. And including some of our new faces. Or at least one who I have seen in the comments people are falling in love with. Oshiroi Baba, and I'm mispronouncing and butchering that to hell and back, so I apologize, you don't come here for pronunciations. Now, of course, we of course have her, we have Kame Mai, who is honestly so fancy. We have, I have no idea how to pronounce it, I've heard some people say that his name translates as Russet Sparrow, I don't know, so we're just, I'm just gonna call him Scarecrow. I apologize, I cannot pronounce the name he has, and I. some people, like I say, have said that he's called the Russell Sparrow in English, but I don't know, so we're just gonna, I'm just calling him the Scarecrow for right now, okay? Uh, we of course have Okiku Mushi, and who doesn't love that she finally got a skin that looks so cool, <laughs> and Furukuchi. Who is so adorable. I love her. I love the hair that she's got. It's amazing. Now, let's start off, of course, with somebody everybody is falling in love with. A move bar abuse punisher. Oshiroi Baba. Now, as you can tell, she's grade six. Fully skilled up. Like, wabam. Stop that. We've all seen that. Fully skilled up. And God knows we love her. We love someone who can punish move bar abuse. There's <laughs> don't we? <laughs> In her case, there are a lot a lot of suggestions for her, but I found the one I like the best is Marrow. It has been working beautifully on her for me. So yeah, it's got a little more of a attack boost because I want her to be able to do some damage. A little damage. And of course with a basis in attack with Azure Basin to provide some effect hit. But quite literally, now there are some people who say maybe boosting her speed or her HP would be even better. And I agree. You can never go wrong with those. I just wanted to go with more of an attack base, because that's how I tend to play. But you're welcome to do whatever you like. I mean, we all love her. I know I could put her in her Evo skin, and she could be this beautiful woman, but we love Grandma. <laughs> we love Grandma here. Now, next is, of course, the Scarecrow. Like I say, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, because I will mispronounce it horribly. And I don't know if he's called the Russian Spirit. He's another one that I hooked up with Marrow because it works beautifully with him. Come on. He's fully skilled up, of course. Now, I haven't used him as often as I have others, but I do keep, have regularly kept him in my Realm Raid team and not just for his, uh, you know, to unlock that one bio. And he works very nicely. He should definitely he's definitely a good option for a realm raid team. Now in his case again it's Marrow. A little bit more on the attack boost in area. If anything, because it's good to have him on hand for like other all, all this stuff. He's basically there to uh, keep your guys alive and do everything else. He does good work. Of course, Snow Spirit there because I felt he could use a little more, an extra boost to his defense. I mean, he's got good attack, needs more HP, of course, but defense is always a good thing. Same with speed. You can never go wrong with those. And of course, next on our list is Kame Mai, who we ha all have to admit has to be one of the most elegant ones and I honestly love this skin. Thank you for finally giving her a good a really beautiful skin. It looks gorgeous. And for this Kame Mai now I've seen a lot of debates about her 
as I said in the video, she was, I did a video on her, with her. It's a little difficult to figure out what to do with her correctly, but I found just make, pushing her towards a, a support uh, support attacker has worked best for me. I'm sure everyone else has other ideas. But in my case, I went with an attack and crit base so she could build her paper stacks more with Soul Taker getting the extra turn. A lot more attack boosting. And of course, Tomb Guard for its crit boost because these had some nice attack boosters on it. Like I say. Now, of course, we have Okikamushi here. And as I said before with her, again, fully skilled, beautiful. I personally love poison. I do. Not in that way. <laughs> and after fully skilling her up, I liked having her being a counter-attacker. She's basically... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I consider Okikumushi and Futakuchi to almost be budget shootings in the fact that they can be Gatling guns, if you play them right. So I kind of went with those kind of things, particularly Okikumushi with Scarlet so she can counterattack, gets her attack boosting on, gets some effect hit to give her her, her poison, and because of her being able to hit multiple times, Ghostly Songstress. As I've said many times, Ghostly Songstress and multi-hitting Shiki is a match made in heaven. And for Futakuchi, which is way down here now, baby girl here, she's not fully skilled up yet. We're working on it. I just got one more to go, and that last one is always a thorn in the butt. But, like I say, she's like a little delicate mini gutting gun. So for her case, I've attached Soul Taker onto her to give her a lot of attack boosting. As well as I added a house imp with a crit and crit damage boosting and a little extra attack. And another one down here that also adds some extra crit because you can never really go wrong with crit on multiple hitters. Now, would I have loved to have had her also hooked up with a uh, ghostly songstress? Yes. Does this work? Also yes. So, as you can see, there isn't really an ore break a battery here. So this is going to be fun. As with my usual combat test, it's going to be this Team 05 against a level 40 Haha Kagami zone and a level 40 Kappa zone. Same is just going to be in the background looking pretty. And if you want to nix out here, that's fine. Please do the Holy Trifecta of YouTube down below. If you like, comment, subscribe. Let me see if there's something you would like to see. And uh, now that's out of the way, let's go. Kame Mai. <laughs> I love that multiple attacker. <laughs> multiple attacks, turns, and it's just... I love how the, how the Scarecrow is automatically trying to keep Grandma alive. That is actually very cute in its own weird way. <laughs> yep, there it goes again. <laughs> How? <laughs> oh. He went for Kame Mai this time. Okay, this is gonna get ugly. got down to the wire but as usual scarecrow saving the day here with his decay with replacing everybody with decayed blood <laughs> all right so i'm gonna hit the uh copper zone i'll catch you in a hot minute
Hello, and we are back with uh, the Low 40 Kappa Zone again with Kame Mai, Grandma, Scarecrow, Okikumushi, and Futakuchi, and Seimei just being pretty. Let's go! Kamehameha might be the most elegant Shiki I've seen in a hot minute. <laughs> I'm serious, those paper stacks on Kame with Kamehameha, soul taker with her is love, it is life, she basically Shrek. <laughs> I wonder about something though. The kind of crook that uh, Grandma has there. I mean, we've seen a similar kind of thing with the uh, Iodon, you know, SR ver SSR version. So I'm just curious, is that just a thing? Just that particular look? Is that like a thing in Asia? For, does it have some kind of significant meaning? Or, you know, is it just style choice? Because regardless, it's cool as hell. <laughs> God, I swear, some days I look at her and I think of Gandalf. Alright. So that was that. If you're still here, thank you very much. Please do the Holy Trifecta of YouTube down below with a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know something you'd like to see, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.